Hi everyone and welcome. In this video we will see how to install Ambient Jammy Ubuntu Minimal Operating System onto EMMC storage of Banana Pi M4 Berry. Okay, so right now on the camera you can see we have this Banana Pi M4 Berry and here you can see uh, I have plugged the SD card with the Ubuntu operating system which is minimal operating system okay now we don't want to use the SD card we want to flash our Ubuntu operating system onto the EMMC storage so we don't have to use the SD card on booting up the operating system next time okay then how we can do that okay so that thing we are going to cover in this video so here is the entire documentation for that okay but few commands are different so we are going to cover that in this video now our banana pi m4 berry is connected with the wi-fi okay and the ip address of our banana pi m4 berry is 192.168.1.7 so i can ping my banana pi 192.168.1.7 and here you can see we are getting successful ping okay now i am already uh, logged into the sss terminal of the banana pi m4 berry and now what we want to do is we want to install the ambient jammy ubuntu minimal operating system onto the emmc storage of the banana pi m4 berry right now we are booting the operating system from the sd card but we don't want to boot the operating system from the sd card we want to boot the operating system okay from the emmc storage then how you can do that okay so first of all as per the documentation you have to use this command okay but uh, once you install the um, ambient jammy ubuntu minimal operating system onto the sd card this command won't work okay so if i uh, paste this command here you can see command not found so instead of this ambient config command you can use this command okay ambient install so you can copy this command from our website and you can paste that command and you can hit enter okay and here you can see you have these options boot from the sd card boot from the emmc storage system on emmc or boot from the emmc storage system on sata usb or nvme ssd okay and there are other two options now we are going to select the second option boot from emmc system on emmc okay so we have already emmc storage on our board okay so we are going to boot from this emmc storage so that's why you have to select the second option boot from emmc system on emmc now in the documentation also uh, you will see that yeah boot from emmc system on emmc so you have to select the second option and then you have to hit ok so what it will do is it will uh, erase the entire emmc storage ok here you can see the drive ok we will continue and uh, we have to select the file system so as per the documentation you can select ext4 file system so i am going to select ext4 i'll press ok and here you can see formatting this drive to ext4 please wait and after that you can see counting files few second okay so it has successfully formatted the drive with the ext4 file system now it will count the entire file available onto the sd card and then after it will move those files okay it will move those files to emmc storage and then after the next time if you don't plug the sd card inside it it will boot the operating system from the emmc storage instead of sd card so here you can see right now we are at uh, this position okay counting files after it will copy all the file you will see this kind of message all done and then power off so we have to power off our device okay so right now you can see counting files so we will wait until this entire process is completed okay here you can see transferring root fs files to this drive okay and the total size of file which this is going to copy is 2065 mb and here you can see this will take approximately six minutes to finish so until it get finished you have to wait and you don't have to turn off your banana pie
okay here you can see the message all done power off so we can click enter and we can power off our device here you can see connection closed by remote host and connection to 192.168.1.7 is closed now we will open one more command prompt and we will try to ping our device and here you can see none of the led is getting blink okay so device is successfully powered off we are not able to ping our device okay we have uh, removed the power cable now we will uh, remove the sd card okay i have removed the sd card now what i will do is i will again uh, plug the power cable okay here you can see the power led is blinking system led is also blinking okay now we are continuously pinging the device okay if it will be able to connect with the wi-fi then here we will get the ping okay if it won't able to connect with the wi-fi then we won't get any ping here and if we won't get any ping here then we have to connect with this board using uh, this usb debug connections okay so let me connect with usb debug connections because we are not getting any ping so let me connect the board okay we are getting ping okay so device is booted i didn't do anything i was just trying to connect with the device okay and uh, yeah now we can open our another command prompt we'll clear everything okay we will close it okay i'm going to open new command prompt we will type ssh root 192.168.1 1.7 it will ask for the root password and the password is tour and uh, yeah we are connected with the banana pi m4 berry okay and we are able to successfully ping the device and here you can see it is running without sd card so here you can see i have removed the 64 gb of sd card and our banana pi m4 berry is running without sd card okay now the operating system is inside the emmc storage okay and yeah here uh, you can run this command okay to list out the disk so here you can see we have only one disk the size of this disk is 7.3 gb or you can say around 8 gb because it's our emmc storage and emmc storage in the banana pi m4 berry is 8 gb okay so that's why you are seeing 37.3 gb okay so this is how you can install the ambient ubuntu operating system inside the uh, emmc storage of banana pi m4 berry so what you have to do is you have to flash your sd card with the ambient ubuntu operating system then after you have to plug your sd card inside the banana pi m4 berry and then you have to use this command sudo ambient install okay otherwise you can only run this command ambient install and then after uh, you will see this screen okay you have to select the second option boot from emmc system on emmc because we want to boot from the emmc storage available on the system or you can say available on the board then after it will erase everything okay in this disk uh, mmc block zero okay mmc block zero it will erase everything okay it will create a new partition with the ext4 extension and then it will count all the files it will move all the files to the emmc storage okay and then once all copy is done it will ask for the power of the device once you power off the device you have to remove the sd card from your banana pi m4 berry you have to remove your power connection okay again you can power up the device it will take some time to boot okay i didn't know that it will take some time okay because i'm doing it the, for the first time okay so it will take some time to boot and then after you will be able to ping your uh, device using the ip address which was previously defined for that device and here you can see mmc block zero okay this is our main disk which is 8 gb and it's our emmc storage so this is how you can install ambient ubuntu minimal operating system onto the emmc storage of banana pi m4 berry and then after you can you know take the ssh access 
as we are taking it now okay we can check the storage here you can see and we can check the free memory as well just a moment okay here you can see 1.9 gb is total so we are having 2 gb of ram in the banana pi m4 berry so that's why here you can see 1.2 gb total okay so this is how you can install ambient ubuntu minimal operating system onto the mmc storage and we have covered the entire setup so i hope this thing is clear that how you can install the ambient jemmy ubuntu minimal operating system onto the mmc storage of the banana pi m4 berry you can perform the same operation okay in the same way for the uh, banana pi ambient bookworm debian operating system okay and uh, same for the uh, desktop operating system okay the method will remain same okay uh, you just have to flash the sd card with the operating system okay which you want to install in the mmc storage and rest of the steps will remain same now in the next video we will see how you can erase emmc storage for banana pi m4 berry right now inside our emmc storage we have the entire operating system and we want to erase it then how we can do that so that thing i'm going to cover in the next video so stay tuned for the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you